This is problem number two from section 5.6. They want us to use the substitution formula given here uh, to evaluate this integral. So essentially they want us to just substitute. Now remember I have a function here inside of a function which is kind of the reason we need to substitute because we don't have a way to do the integration without using this uh, u substitution. Now I kind of look at, uh, I looked at this piece first and I said what if I made u this? Well I would bring the 8 to the front when I do the du over dt, that would be 72 t to the 7th, not going to cancel t to the 9th. So I went the other way around and said what if I did t to the 9th took that derivative? That would be 9 t to the 8th, okay that's going to do some canceling. So that's how I kind of pick my u value here. I'm going to set the u value out to the left or the right a little ways so I have room to write. But u equals t to the ninth plus 5t. So du over dt is 9t to the eighth plus 5 when you do that derivative. Multiply by the dt, you get du equals 9t to the eighth plus 5 dt. And divided across, you get du over 9t to the 8th plus 5. Uh, that would be equals dt. So we can actually go through and start to write this integral with our different substitutions. So we have a root u, and then we have this times 9t to the 8th plus 5. And then we substitute dt with our du over 9t to the 8th plus 5. The 9t to the 8th plus 5, all right, they're going to cancel there and leave us just with du. So we end up with integral 0 to 1 root u du. So now we can do the actual uh, antiderivative. And when we do that, we get, this is u to the 1 half. So we'll write this as integral 0 to 1, u to the 1 half, du. And then when we integrate it, we add 1, divide. So we end up with u to the 3 halves over 3 halves, uh, du. Nope, sorry, not du, from 0 to 1. I'm going to rewrite that, though, as 2 thirds, right? You flip and multiply the bottom fraction. 2 thirds u to the 3 halves from 0 to 1. And the last thing I need to do is plug in what u is. Well, u is t to the 9th plus 5t. So I'm going to have 2 thirds, parenthesis, t to the 9th plus 5t to the 3 halves. And I want to evaluate this for 1 and 0. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first of all, let's when we go to plug this in, I think that it's smart to use your calculator to your advantage. So we're going to say 1, store it as x. I'm going to go through and write in what this function is. So I'm going to get a fraction ready, 2 over 3. And then I'm going to say that that's x to the ninth plus 5x, and that's to the 3 halves power. So I'll just do a little fraction up there as well. 3 halves. Hit enter. It tells me that's 9.5. Uh, 7, 9, let's get a fraction out of that. It doesn't give us a fraction, so it's 9.79. Uh, now, I'd ask for an exact answer here. Uh, so if, it is, if it's asking for an exact answer, it's probably not one this 9.79 number. So let's go ahead and write this out then. This would be 2 thirds. This would be, when I plug in a 1, I end up with 1 plus 5 times 1 to the 3 halves, and then minus, well if I plug 0 in here, that's just 0. So that's, I mean, that's just whatever. 
Now I can write this as uh, 2 thirds times 6 to the 3 halves, which is going to give you, if you want to write this in a, for a solution, maybe you write this as, well this would be the 2 and to the 3 halves power tells you that you have root 6 and that would be to the third power over 3. I think this is how you would maybe want to put it into my math lab. I think either one of these answers it's probably going to accept though. So that should be the answer to the problem.